Ravage is installed just like any other Blender add-on. Locator saved your zip file and installed the add-on. You can easily access the add-on's documentation by clicking on the documentation operator. The next thing we're going to do is set up some libraries. To add a material library, locate where your library is saved and open one of the materials in the library. Then go up by one level and accept. Click on the add library operator. To remove a library, click on the library and confirm the prompt. To add multiple libraries, open the location where your libraries are, open one of the materials and go up one level, then another level. Hit accept. When you click the add libraries operator, you'll get a prompt asking if you're sure you want to do this. This is because removing multiple libraries can be a hassle after adding hundreds of libraries. To add a texture library, go to where your libraries are saved, open one of your libraries and hit accept. Then hit the add library operator. To add multiple texture libraries, go to where your libraries are saved and hit accept. Then hit add libraries. At the bottom of the settings tab, you'll notice some channel identifiers. These are used when loading material libraries or in manually adding a PBR setup. Setting up previews for your material libraries is pretty easy. All that needs to happen is you need to have an image in the folder that ends with the word preview. The spelling of the word is important, but the case doesn't matter. The three labels shown on screen will all work with material libraries. One has a random string of letters and the word preview in mixed case and the file extension. The other just ends with the word preview and the extension and the last one is the word preview and the extension. If a material library is invalid, you'll get this red image with the words invalid material. And when material library previews are set up, the add-on will look for the first image in the file and use that as a preview.